Hey, what's up guys? Sean here, Surefire Digital Media. Listen, if you're on this page and you're watching this video, then you're an insurance agent and you're looking to aggressively grow your business, but something's gotta change. You can't keep going year after year doing the same marketing strategies, buying the same leads from the same providers that simply aren't yielding results and you need something different to happen. And that's what I'm gonna show you is how I've done a lot of research on this industry and I've looked at thousands of agents and really evaluated their business to see how they've gotten where they're where they're at. I've looked at the successful agents, I've looked at the agents that have struggled, I've compared the differences, I've looked at consumer behavior, spent hundreds of hours developing our system, and I wanna share with you some of that insight to help you understand why you've been struggling, why your team is struggling with the leads, and ultimately what has to change and what has to be different in order for you to succeed. All right, so let's take a look here at the presentation and what we put together. All right, so let's look at the facts. The facts are you wanna grow your agency and you're in one of two categories of agents. You're putting up decent numbers, but you're spending a fortune to do it. You've either got a massive staff and you're an outbound agency and you guys are making hundreds of calls a day per person, so thousands of outbounds uh, every single day tens of thousands of prospecting calls a month, trying to get people on the phone to put up numbers. And it's costing you a fortune. And retention of employees is, is uh, ridiculously hard because it, that is a brutal position to be in for somebody to just sit there and pound phones all day, every day. Nobody likes it, it's not fun. So you're dealing with staffing issues and you're paying an enormous amount of money on payroll. Or you're an inbound agency and you're spending tens of thousands of dollars on live transfers and internet leads, and your team is wasting countless hours trying to sift through all of that data to find the numbers for you to hit your numbers. And, and ultimately, the profit margins are not there. Something's got to change. And you're looking to get better results. You're looking to reduce the cost that, it's, that, that you're spending and increase your profit margin so you can actually take some money home or you've been living off renewals and cross sales for the last several years because you're tired of wasting money on internet leads that simply don't convert. However, with recent compensation changes, a lot of companies and carriers have reduced those renewal commissions that you so heavily depended upon, and they're really forcing you to get out there and write new business. Otherwise, with the pay cut, you're simply not gonna make it. You're gonna start losing money. Depending on the size of your book, uh, and what your renewals look like, a 10% pay cut could cost you six figures this year. And if you don't replace that, uh, then you're gonna start bleeding cash and that's never fun as a business owner. And you're here for one of two reasons, right? You've gotta reduce the amount of money that you're spending. You've gotta hit your sales numbers. You need to increase your sales numbers. You need to increase your profits and you can no longer refer, uh, rely on those referrals and cross sales to get there. So I totally understand where each of you are at, whether you're a top producer and you're looking to uh, you know, maintain the numbers, but you've gotta, you've gotta stop spending tens of thousands of dollars, um, or you wanna change your business model and you don't wanna operate a call center anymore. Here's what we found after evaluating these agency owners from across the country, it doesn't matter what carrier, you know, the internet leads and the live transfer quality has diminished, yet the costs continue to rise. In fact, I've, I've heard of some people you know, paying 40 and $50 for a live transfer because the demand is so high. And the reason the demand is so high is because the internet leads that uh, you're accustomed to simply don't convert because those have been shared so many times that you simply can't reach them. And at this point, you're tired of wasting money, so you're willing to pay the cost for a live transfer to at least have somebody on the phone because you waste 80 to 90% of your day chasing around these form fill leads that you've been getting from providers. And many of you have sworn off internet leads altogether due to the thousands of dollars that you've wasted over the years trying every provider under the sun, but you keep getting the same results. Trust me, I understand, and I'm, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's gotten this way for you. Listen, I know people in the leads industry, I know top executives at the uh, aggregators, I look at top, you know, I've got top level connections at Fortune 100 companies, some of the top five carriers. In fact, we've got a contract with one of them. So I understand the industry and how these leads are generated, how these form fills are generated, how the live transfers are generated, the practices being used. And I can tell you that for the vast majority of you, 
it's not going to work. You have to have something different. You know, think about when the last time that you got a decent quality internet lead, because at, I'll give you at one point, internet leads worked. That's how a lot of agents grew their business. And that's how most agents are still growing their business. If you look at the top producers, it's either live transfers or leads, but they're spending more money to get the same results that they got three years ago, but they're having to spend, you know, twice as much money to get there. But when you look at the last time, it's probably sometime prior to 2011, maybe 2005 to 10 was when you were still able to get a good quality internet lead and actually get a hold of people and convert. So you look at the last nine to 10 years and what happened? Social media. That's when, you know, Facebook really started to take off. Facebook advertising really started to take off in 2010, 2011 and 2012. And that changed everything. It changed the way consumers interact. It changed the way that they found information. It changed the way that they even shared referrals. So most of you who relied on, on referrals have probably seen a dip in the referral business as well. And that's probably because you don't have a strong presence on social media. And there's this thing called recommendations on social media that is massive. In fact, there was a recent study that showed 70% of people did business locally because of a referral or a recommendation they got specifically from Facebook. I know you've seen the post out there, hey, does anybody know a good plumber? And if you don't have a strong presence on social media, you are missing an enormous amount of business there. So it's changed even word of mouth, like it's really changed the fabric of our, of our society. Um, but most importantly, it's changed the way that companies reach consumers. So watch this, traditional internet leads over this time period haven't changed a thing. Let's look at the way that they generate these leads. And again, I'm telling you, I know how they generate the leads because I have worked with these executives hand in hand. I know exactly what they're doing to get these leads. Many of them have reached out and tried to get contracts with me to send them leads, but I'm not doing it. Search-based marketing strategies, what they're using, keywords, phrases, search behaviors, online uh, activities. They're looking for active shoppers, okay? So that might sound all and fine, however, what you don't want is somebody that is price driven. By the time somebody gets to Google and they start searching keywords with, you know, compare auto insurance in Dallas, Texas, that's a price driven consumer. You've lost any ability or opportunity to sell value at that point. They're not exclusive. These leads are shuffled around to multiple agents and they're never truly exclusive. Even if you buy an exclusive lead, what that means is at best, it's only being sent to you at that distribution point, but that does not mean it has never been sent to anybody else before. The typical life cycle of a lead, while it's in circulation, will be sold 17 times on average before they will then sell it as an age lead to somebody else. So that person, the moment they put their information in, they will randomly get calls uh, from insurance agents for six months to a year, maybe even longer, depending on where they sell that age data to. So, and they aren't in real time. This is a huge problem. You know, the, the reason they're not in real time is because what happens, they put in their information, they go into a database and then they sit there until they have a buyer of that lead and then they'll sell that lead. So it's time decay has kicked in on these leads and they're tremendously hard to get a hold of once they've submitted their information and they haven't gotten a quote. Some of the companies even have brokerages where they first try to sell the lead if they can't sell the lead, then they sell lead insurance. They try to sell them insurance. And if they can't, then they'll sell the lead to other agents and put it into the cycle of uh, you know, recycling that lead. They're not targeted to your underwriter's appetite, guys. These, again, they're looking at search-based behaviors only. They're looking for people who are typing in keywords and, and they're paying for keywords and phrases and they're using SEO with blogs out there of people who are looking to save money on insurance. So they're price shoppers, that's it. That's all, they're, they're focused on price shoppers. And for some agents, that's okay. If you're a broker and you can sell on price, that's great. If you're a captive agent or you're a broker looking for A plus type clientele, you're not gonna find it through, uh, through these internet lead providers. When you look at live transfers, these guys are pulling aged internet lead list and they're just dialing and cold calling. So you don't know the demographics in terms of credit score, insurance score, none of that 
until you actually get on the phone with them, if you can even get on the phone with them. So our strategy is completely different. What we'd use is a disruptive strategy. We don't wait for people to actively shop for insurance. What we do is we find people that are interested. See, the interesting thing about Facebook and social media is it's given marketers a dramatic uh, difference with insights and targeting capabilities. So we don't have to wait for them to go and search for insurance. We can go and find them. If you've ever been on Facebook and, and maybe you went to a website to look at uh, you know, hotels or an Airbnb, all of a sudden, uh, you start finding these ads everywhere. They show up on Pandora, they show up on YouTube, you're seeing them everywhere. Um, that's the type of technology we're using. So we're not using the fact that you search for it, we're using the interest level. So first and foremost, we have demographic uh, capabilities to target that we're looking for. So we, we only put our advertisements in front of the right people at the right time. So we can look at age, gender, geography, family makeup, income level, education level. We can get as granular as to the type of job title that they hold or the employer that they work for. We can also look at things like life events, things that create a need for somebody to want to talk to an insurance agent. Things like having a baby, uh, getting divorced, you know, the people who are, are buying a car, people that are buying a house, all of these things that we know create a prime opportunity to talk with somebody about insurance but they haven't necessarily gone shopping so we're looking for a demographically targeted person who's got something going on in their life that would create interest we can also target people based on the carrier that they have and we can do research and figure out hey if company x just took 18 percent in this market we can target that specific customer and we can say hey i want you know people that are 28 to 54 years old that have a college degree that live in these areas that are with company X because I know they just taken rate and they're going to be ready to talk to an insurance agent, but we're catching them before they go shopping. That way we're getting an entirely different type of person who is interested, but not yet shopping. And the, the key distinction between the two is that at an interest level, they're willing to hear value. They're willing to hear what you have to bring to the table. The downside though, is that the sales process takes a little bit longer, which is a good thing because this means they're evaluating more than just the price that you have to offer. And you also have to look at who it is that you're targeting. Listen, if you want somebody that's you know college educated, has a family, married, three cars and a house, that person obviously has a career, right? And they're not gonna be tickled that you can save them 10 or 15 bucks a month. And see the idea that, that everybody is, is interested in price. The only reason this is happening is because we're only targeting price shoppers. We, not we, but the industry as a whole is targeting people that are in the fourth stage of the buying process, interested in nothing but price. So what we do is we hit them earlier in the sales process. And here's a, a, a study that Facebook recently did about the consumer journey and the four stages that they see. There's reactive observance. These are people that just casually start to learn about insurance offerings, uh, different brands at this stage. They can be influenced to, you know, consider, but they're not really, you know, interested. At this point, they may have seen an ad and, you know, kind of thought about it. Uh, stage two, we need a trigger moment. This is life happens, key events. People move closer to buying, you know, possible triggers include policy renewals, better prices, recent auto purchases, life events, such as moves, engagements, new jobs, all the things we just discussed. Then you've got the proactive shopping, and then you have the purchase. This, you know, purchase price is a priority. And look, when it comes to the side, price is the top consideration. And this is the biggest struggle within the industry is that people just want price. And it's been so commoditized. And it's been so commoditized because everybody's after the people in this stage of the process. What we do and the way that we generate our leads is we find people that are in stage two. Thus, the process takes a little bit longer because they're not yet shopping that are interested, there's something going on that creates a need and we create the shopping event here. So we're basically cutting them off at the knees before they come here. So this creates a better cost per lead. This creates a value driven customer. This allows us to get the demographic targeting and the life events for you to actually have a value driven conversation about the life events, about the purchase of their home, about the job change, about the baby on the way, about their marriage or their engagement or their divorce. And this has them consider things other than price. When, you, when you're getting leads here, which is what you're going to get from all of your lead providers out there, there are very few, if any, that are taking the approach that we're taking. So 
if, if you're focusing on, on lead providers and you don't understand their process, then chances are good that you're gonna be getting people who are only considering price. Because at this point, they've already done their research, they've already looked around, and now they're like, okay, let's look at price. Here, you can be the person that they get the, the uh, research done with that can educate them on the importance of insurance, that it can educate them on life insurance. And that's why even with our PNC campaigns, we're getting people, we're getting about 12% of our PNC campaigns ask for life insurance along the way because of the particular life events that we're targeting. So it, it all comes down to the process by which you generate the leads. I'm not here to tell you that our leads are better than any other lead provider. I'm not here to tell you that our systems are better than anybody else. What I'm telling you is that we've used research and we've used consumer data and we use facts and we've used thousands of agents and millions of dollars of advertising dollars spent and looked at the research to understand the type of clientele for you know that, that that most of your captive agents are looking for or your independents who are looking for people that are value driven own homes multiple cars if that's the type of lead that you're looking for this is the way that has to be used to generate that lead so i don't think there's a better lead or a worse lead there's different leads there's different types of clientele the people that uh, you know go on Google and search for you know compare auto insurance rates in Dallas, Texas, those are great leads because those are people that want insurance. Ultimately, as a as an insurance agent, when you think about the word lead, that's somebody who's willing to do business. They may or may not be a good fit for what you're looking for, but that doesn't make that person any less interested. That does not make it a bad lead. A bad lead is bad contact information. You know, you you got somebody who responded to a survey to you know win a trip to the Bahamas and now you're calling it for insurance, that's a bad lead and that's deceptive. We don't do anything like that. Everything that we do is very transparent. We let our agents see all of the ad campaigns that we're running, all the targeting that we're using. We do weekly meetings with you guys to really understand what we're doing behind the scenes so that we can generate the right lead for your agency. So again, I'm not here to sell you that we're better than, than anybody else. I'm just telling you our process is completely different. And if you're at this video, then you need something different because what you've done in the past simply doesn't work. It hasn't worked and I'm telling you it's not going to work because it's more of the same. You've got these lead providers who are generating leads the same way they always have, which is gonna to continue to get you the same results. And the longer you wait, the more the lead is shared and the harder it's gonna to be to get a hold of. Now, conversion rates is a completely different story. That's a whole nother video. I would encourage you to check out the insurance leadgenie.com if you're looking for a follow-up system um, and a way to automate your prospecting and nurture those leads and increase your conversion rates. But at the end of the day, you gotta have something different. You gotta have a lead provider that will show you the process, that will show you the ads, show you how they generate the leads. If they won't do that, that is a red flag, run for the hills. I wanna take the opportunity and ask for the, the ability to show you our process. If you will book an appointment with me or click the link here below this video, I've got a recorded presentation that will go in depth, in depth of how we generate leads what our ads look like, the process that we use, and really help you understand what makes our leads different. And if that resonates with you, I would invite you into a conversation so that we can actually show you agents in your market that have had success. We do weekly meetings with our clients, so we have up-to-date results with exactly how they're doing. And I can tell you right now that with a fraction of the budget that you guys are spending on internet leads, you can get two to three times the, the sales numbers. It's not gonna take months and months to uh, get leads. It's not one of those situations. The moment that we get our ads live, we've got leads coming in and we will meet with you every single week to refine the process, to go over our results, compare notes with your sales team. We give you resources like sales scripts, email scripts, follow-up scripts, sales processes, and our team works hand in hand with you. It's like having your own marketing department who focuses on nothing but lead generation and nothing but making sure that you're getting the right leads for your agency. Click the link. I'd like to have a conversation or watch the demo. And if you are interested from there, please give us a call. I don't want to waste your time. I just want to have an opportunity to show you what makes us different and see if that's a good fit for you. Give us a call, 214-225-0193. Hit me up at surefiredigitalmedia.com. Live chat with me. Hit me up on email. My business partner is Doug. We'd like to talk with you.